Danielle's having Canyon throw stuff at the window. That's not cool. Don't throw things at windows, guys. Okay, Az, are you ready to go? You okay? Yeah. He's being so brave. He really is. And a yowie family! Yowie! What happened last night? I didn't get scared. <gasps> and you stayed in your bed all night long? Yeah. Actually, all morning, Canyon slept until 10.15 this morning. We did go to bed late, and Canyon is the one that needs exactly 12 hours of sleep. So he got 12 hours of sleep, and he didn't get out of his bed because he wasn't scared because he had his nightlight. Yeah! I am so happy and proud of you. And it didn't get the fish out of my head. Fish is in head because I eat off. I ate off. A catfish. Oh, was that your dream? I had a dream where we um ate a a catfish. Oh, was it tasty? Yeah. <laughs> I am so 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 happy that we all got some good sleep and that you stayed in your bed. Johnny just went to pick up the kids from school and. As you may know, if you've watched our vlogs in the past, that we give our kids what's called a power hour after school. So for one hour, when they get home from school, they can do whatever they want. Savannah and Lizzie have been very good at being helpful. They love to play the games downstairs, and so they'll clean the basement or their room or something to play and have screen time. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Solitaire Pets, I am going to surprise Savannah and Lizzie by letting them play the game today during power hour. I have it on my phone, I've been playing it, seeing how it is, and it's so fun. Solitaire Pets have ramped it up and made it a two-person player against player game. It's a fast-paced solitaire game, and the cool part is it's played with little avatars, which are animals. You can choose which animal you want to be. I'm gonna put on Savannah's iPod and let her play that, and Lizzie can play it on my phone during power hour today. Hello, children. Daddy and I have been so proud of you guys because you've been so helpful, and you've been cleaning when we ask, and you haven't been whining about things, and so to reward you, we thought for power hour you could play a new fun game. Really? Really? Yes. I want to use your phone. It's, it's called Solitaire Pets. I love playing this game, and I think you will too. This is a fast-paced solitaire game, where you have to go faster than your competitor to win coins. Savannah, I've already put this on your Sweet. iPod. Lizzie, you can use my phone. Yay! And guys, oh, remember, can you can collect toys during the game, completing the collections, and win awesome prizes, including coins and boosters. <laughs> I forgot to tell you how to play solitaire. Yeah. So, you're trying to go from ace all the, t all the way to king. So, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Oh but it has to be the same color, same suit. So Lizzie, look, you're trying to find, so if you click on that queen, it will go over to the king. If you click on the seven, you can stack them on top. Oh. So red can go oh. on black, black can go on red. Remember, we put the link in the description below so you can go download Solitaire Pets and play for free. Remember the temperature taker, the temperature gun that has the laser pointer, the blue one? Yeah. You do remember it? Where is it at? You were playing with it the other day. I don't know. You don't remember where it's at? Mm -mm. Was it upstairs or in the basement or where? It was in the basement. Let's go look. Let's go see if it's down there still. I was playing down here and I didn't know it disappeared on my back. Disappeared on your back? Yeah. I don't know if I understand what that means, Masha Kino. Um, dude, I've already found it. What? Look on the Lego box. You see it? Mm -hmm. Go get it. There it is. Okay. One time Can I see it? Let's see it. Why? So we've had a lot of you asking um, about Polar and just checking on Polar because Allie mentioned that she hadn't seen him for a few days and then the dogs were outside. 
and there's a lot of you concerned about the animals and we appreciate that. I wanted to show you though, we've talked about it several times and a lot of our um, followers that watch us every single day have helped answer those questions in the comments below. But I wanna show you guys what Polar actually gets to deal with when it's really, really cold outside, which is today. It's been snowing all night and it's cold outside. I wanted to let you guys know that um, Polar is okay and uh, so is Charlie when he's outside. And we're gonna use this to show you. So I'm gonna get Danielle, let's go. Go grab Danielle, go tell her. We are doing a temp show thing. We're gonna go out and do something. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Danielle! Okay, I'm coming. Let's go, let's go. Daddy. Yeah. I think my tire on my car is getting low because it was acting really weird. Like what was it doing, do you know? It was just like jolting and bouncing. And... Wasn't driving right. Okay, um, we'll go take care of this and then we'll come back and I'll teach you how to take the pressure the air pressure in your tires. Teaching Allie how to check her pressure on her tires. Okay, let's go, let's go. Where'd Danielle go? You need your shoes. You need shoes. Yeah. Your shoes. My lightning shoes. Actually, Gigo, we're gonna wear snow boots because we're going out back, okay? Does that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Should probably wear long socks or are you okay with short socks? Um, short socks is okay? Yeah. All right, ready, set, and push. push. <laughs> I like it. Let's go. Yeah. Look. The sun's shining. You see the sun shining? It's been snowing for like more than 24 hours. I shouldn't say snowing, snowing and raining. Yeah. Oh, look at Danielle's car. Oh, you pretty thing. We need to get to work on this thing. I know, I'm We need to pull money. the engine out and get it to work. Yeah. And now that we have some extra cash flow in Danielle's bank account, we're gonna start making it happen. Pull Take the motor care. out and get it brand new and then get new tires and wheels on it. Pretty exciting. Okay, so what we came out here for is first off, we're gonna test the temperature of the snow on the car. How's that? Okay. And it says it is? 25.3. 25.3, Giga, that's cold. Can you feel it? Yeah. How cold is it? Fill it. Look, if you squish the slush, it explodes with water. It's cold. And the ground? How about the ground right here? The ground is 30, 32 degrees. Oh, 32.6. Oh, my hands are cold now. This is um, Polar's kennel and Charlie's kennel when Charlie decides he wants to come out here too. Polar loves spending time out here because number one, I think it's Charlie's in right now and it's very warm, but also number two, Charlie doesn't bother him as bad. Charlie wants to just somebody to play with and Polar's just an old man and doesn't want to play. He just was like, come on man, leave me alone. So we built this ramp and we cut a hole in the garage door and put the kennel right up against the garage door, the back garage door, so he can go in and out of it whenever he wants to. So the outside temperature is 35 degrees. 35. Do you go? 36. 30, 30, oh, 36 degrees, okay. Let's now open it up and open see what's up, inside. Open up. And inside temperature. <laughs> Hi, Polar. Hey, bud. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Apparently, Polar wanted to come out. He wouldn't let us take a temperature. It's he all right. He wants to see how warm the outside is. Yeah, maybe. He just wants to come out and play. <laughs> Look at that. 80, 80 degrees. Holy cow. 79, 77. <laughs> it's because I have the window open. It's going down a little bit. Oh, but, yeah. But look at this. It has it has dual flap on it. Double flaps. Yeah, so, it's, so it doesn't let any air in. Mm -hmm. it's... And the bottom is magnetic. Yeah, so it holds it closed. Anyway. For those of you that have been concerned about Polar, trust me, he's okay. He's actually better off in here than he is in the house because in the house we actually keep it, typically around at nighttime, we keep it at about 68 to 70 degrees. Yeah, and in the daytime, he wants to wander around. And... Yeah, that's the biggest thing is we let him decide. So if he just wants to stay out here at night, we just let him stay out here at night. If he wants to stay out here today, we let him stay out here today. Careful, don't fall down, okay? Careful. <laughs> I think he's gonna fall, Danielle. Yeah, why don't you, here, take my hand and let's, we'll jump out here when the snow's melted, okay? I'll show you how I can do a backflip. Look, there's Polar. Okay, make a smiley face. Can you do it? Uh huh. You can do it. Oh, no. you missed. Yeah, okay, I was trying to do lower. That's like a ooh face. <laughs> that's the mouth. Do the nose, and then that's the, the eyeballs are up above it. Can you do it? Oh. Oh, oh almost. Almost. <laughs> one more, one more to the right. 
Oh, he's kind of it's a sad a face. Is it snowballs on a house? Yep. Oh. You want to throw one? No, you. You want me to throw it? Let's see if I can get the window. I probably can't. Oh, I got it. Try to hit the window. Hit the window. Oh. Danielle, uh, maybe we shouldn't have kids hit windows. All right. Don't throw things at windows, guys. Danielle's having Canyon throw stuff at the window. That's not cool. Okay, look, um, are you going Are you going in, guys? I'm going back in. I'm going to go help Allie. See, this is how you test it. So you spin this cap off. Okay, there's the cap. And then you take this and you turn it on. You press it on there. It says... 36. 36. So the one that we've been having issues with is on the other side. So put the cap back on. PSI is what we're looking for. PSI, which is pounds per square inch. So this is the tire that we're having issues with, right? It doesn't have a cap. That might be part of the problem. What does it say? 32.5. Oh, which means? 3.5 less than what the other tires. Yep. So I think that these tires say do not go over 40 PSI. So, so it's good where it's at? It's good as long as it's, where is it at right now? 32.5. I like to be at 34 to 36. So we probably need to put some air in it. And I'm thinking we need to get you new tires soon because these are not having enough tread. I think that's what we need to do. 53.5. Oh, so you know how to let air out, right? We just do this. Okay, now test it. 49. Normal operating, 44 PSI. So the back two are not good, the front two are good. What's the front uh, right now? Perfect, 44. Now we just need to let some pressure out of this other front one and then put a little air pressure in the back ones and we should be good to go. So. 44, perfect. Yeah, I don't think it's off enough to make a huge difference. So maybe it's something else that we need to check on, but for now we'll Put a little air in the back of it for you a little later on and then we should be good to go. Wait, was part of it because you were driving in the snow this morning maybe? Oh, probably. Could have been. How, how did that go? It was good. It's still terrifying. I don't like driving in the snow. It's alright. You'll, you'll get through it. Somebody asked the other day, what is the note that's on your door? Please remove your shoes. Thank you. Okay, Az, are you ready to go? You are ready to go? Where are we going? Blood drop. Az, you ready to go <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it means blood draw. Oh, I see. After the doctor on Monday, as had the option of going right after and getting his blood drawn or choosing what day he wanted to get it done because he was a little nervous about it. And so we hope that if he chose the day, then it would help him to be less nervous about it. And he said that he wanted to do it on Friday. We're gonna go get that done quickly before they close so that by the end of next week, we can know what you're allergic to. <laughs> it's crazy. I told Canyon that I was proud of him for being brave, for sleeping in his own bed, and guess what he said? <laughs> he said, Mommy, I'm proud of you for giving me kisses. <laughs> Hi, Geek, Feek, Seek. Yeah. That's what he said. He said he was proud of me because I gave him kisses. <sighs> okay, go get your shoes and coat on so we can go. Hurry. I'm not proud of you. Until you actually. I'll be proud of you after you kiss my chin again. <laughs> okay, get your shoes and coat, okay? Whoa, what happened? I was trying to get stuff from the top of the pantry for Lizzie and I didn't see the jar of jalapeno oh, jelly. No. Is that jalapeno jelly? Yeah. Oh no, that's the best stuff ever. It smells so bad. Okay, don't, Kigo, Kigo, don't walk, can't you can't, can't. Go walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. There's glass all over. Okay, let's get it cleaned up. Kigo, don't step on it, okay? Okay, I got most of it swept into a pile. You can now move. Now you can okay. walk. So I was heading out the door and I heard this big crash, Sarah. Yeah, what is going on in Jalapeno here? Jalapeno jelly just died. Ah! It's all right. Sorry. It's all right. It went down hard and glass was everywhere. Uh -uh. So we got most of it into a pile. Now yes. Allie can move. There's a little bit underneath. Yeah, that's they're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get out the vacuum and really get it cleaned up the right way everywhere because it's everywhere. So, it's but okay, we are Allie. running behind. We gotta go. I know we do. We need to go for the. Clothes. So, Allie, do you got this or what's up? 
Yeah, I think I got this. Okay, thank you. We'll be back. He is being so brave. He really is. Come on, buddy. You're being so brave, dude. Do you see your shoes? Wow, I like that. Does that mean that something exciting is going to happen today? Dude, you are being so brave. I'm so proud of you. Come on. And then my friend Suzanne is going to hold your arm, okay? Okay, we'll just right so, here on, just yeah, like that. Just so we can make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to put this little rubber band on. Kind of tight, it it's okay. Tight. Yeah, this is probably the worst part, I promise. Just like that. Bend it just as much as you can. Okay, now that that's clean, then I'm going to take my little thing. You okay? Yeah. You're doing an awesome job. Yeah, you are. And when we're all done, I'm going to give you a sucker, okay? Oh, well, you got a sucker? Oh, you want your sleep down? There we go. Good job, yeah. dude. How'd she know green was your favorite color? <laughs> I don't know. She is. She's pretty this smart. This is a superhero cape. Is that pretty cool? And it has two sides, so whatever side you're feeling, you can wear. Oh, wow. Thank you. You're so welcome, hon. You did awesome, That's so awesome. cool. I'm just hurt for a while. Does it hurt a little bit? You're doing pretty good though. Yeah. Your color looks good. Yeah, you got pale. You're a little for a shaky. Minute, but you're doing good. But guess what? Next week, we'll be able to find out what is possibly giving you the rashes. It's not rash. What is it? It's high. <laughs> good job, dude. A cape. That and a dinosaur. So awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, cool. He's gonna be a little bit weak, um, and he's going to he's gonna he's gonna look a little pale a little later on. But we'll get him food, and we'll get him something to drink as soon as we get home. Probably some juice, and he'll create more blood just as quick as it they took it out. So, as guess what today is? What? Freedom Friday. <sighs> what does Freedom Friday mean? We can eat whatever we want for dinner. That's right. Look who we have. Superhero. Super Asbury. <laughs> so I'm guessing it went well. It went so well. He did not even get scared once. He watched them do it. He watched. He watched. Usually when I watch, I almost pass out. Yeah, no passing out. He really did such a phenomenal job, didn't you, dude? So brave, and he got this cool cape. That's cool. That is that on the one side, and on the other side, look at that. Oh, cool. Is that cool, Gigo? Yeah, it's a lightning. And a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a lightning. All right, what is going on here? What's going on, dude? You're eating. That's good. Good job, buddy. You're eating banana, juice. And Allie needs her nails done for her date tomorrow. That pink is I think we should go with this What one. design are you doing? No. What about the... We need to show the finished results of Allie's nails. First, I want to ask how Az is doing. How are you doing, dude? Good. Yeah? yeah? Did you get all your blood back? Yeah. You earned it all back? Yeah. Yep, we're going to find out next week what the results are, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, dude. Oh, there's Allie. Should we see Allie's nails really fast? Not bad. What do you think? I like them. Aw, they look pretty. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Go show the kids, Everyone right? Wants to see. So I thought we were done doing this snuggling thing, Savannah. Yeah, but then Gigo said he wanted to snuggle me last night, and then today he wanted to snuggle me. So I thought we were done with the snuggling thing. She's not sleeping in here.
here. Oh, you're just gonna snuggle yeah, him before he goes to sleep? Yeah, she snuggles until he falls to sleep, okay. and then she goes in her own And bed. tomorrow's Saturday, so it's okay, huh? No, Can I sleep in here since it's a Saturday tomorrow? No. No, she keeps snuggling me. Okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there's a has. Sarah and I just had a three-hour conversation tonight about something highly important. What was the basis of the conversation, Sarah? It's hard Choosing one. faith over fear. Yes, yeah, so lo fear holds us back from doing and being who we're supposed to be I and doing what we're supposed to do. Like okay, and Lizzie's <laughs> gonna go to sleep because she's tired. <laughs> Good night, Lizzie. And so, um, Good night. we just want to make sure that you guys, um, especially the ones who are struggling with this, know that finding out and remembering who you are and your worth is one of the biggest and best things that you can do in your whole entire life. Not just for yourself, but for other people too. So, do everything you can to remember that, um, that you have value and that you are doing incredible things already and don't discount the things that you're already doing because you are awesome and as always never forget we love you guys and my leg is sore <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, you are, are worth it, it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. you're worth it you're worth it <laughs>